What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about the Google Chromecast Ultra. Now I'm not new to the Google Chromecast. I had one a few years ago and then got rid of it just because I didn't really find it that useful. But I've been wanting to try the Google Chromecast Ultra. So that's what this video is about. So we really only have two objectives for this video and that's trying to stream from all these different devices to this. So we've got the Google Pixel Book here, big fan of that. I use this to actually edit my videos. We've got the Google Home Hub. I really like that as well to control all my lighting and just see my events, that kind of thing. We've got the Google Home Mini, that's also really good. Basically works just like the Google Home Hub, except we don't have a screen. And then we have an Android phone here. This is actually my Nexus 6P, but I'm actually shooting with the Google Pixel 3 XL. And I also have a Google Pixel 2 XL there. So obviously we wanna to try to connect all these devices. That's the first objective. But the second objective is to see just how good casting works from these devices to this device here. And I think the big test for me will be games on either the Pixelbook or on an Android device, taking those from this and casting them to the Google Chromecast Ultra and see just how bad the lag is because that was the main reason I actually wanted a Chromecast in the first place. I just imagine myself using a device like a Chromebook or an Android phone as a gaming device and then connecting that content to a bigger TV. So these things weren't only a gaming device, they were actually the controller, uh, they were the console and all of that combined. And this was just bringing it all to a bigger screen. So with all those things being said, let's go ahead and see what this thing is all about. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the Google Chromecast Ultra and Google always does this nice sleek packaging where everything slides off nicely. So here is the Google Chromecast Ultra and it's really not that big. We're gonna go ahead and put some quarters on here just to show. So this device literally fits into the palm of your hand. Moving on, we're gonna have some instructions right in here. And then we're gonna have our power supply with the cable and that's hardwired into the power brick. So let's go ahead and talk more about the Chromecast Ultra. You can see it's got a mirror-like finish which normally attracts fingerprints but this is going to be hidden behind your TV most likely, so you won't have to worry too much about this. Now the Google Chromecast Ultra has a HDMI cable hardwired into it, which also features a nice little magnet right on the HDMI cable itself. And that allows this to fasten to the Google Chromecast Ultra housing. Now the power supply is going to plug right into this port here. And this is not USB-C, this is the old standard micro USB. Then there is the power supply. And again, this is going to be micro USB. It's the old standard. And the other downer here is that the cable is hardwired into the power brick, which I don't really like. I like to be able to use the power bricks separately from the cable. But there is a port on the power brick for ethernet. That's if you possibly want a faster connection. So this is all very simple. We don't have a lot of parts here, so we can go ahead and get into the setup. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the Google Chromecast Ultra on my projector and my media stack here, and this is AIM-1. We're gonna skip this step because it's pretty self-explanatory. The Chromecast Ultra is just going to plug into the HDMI port on the projector, and the power supply is going to plug right into the Google Chromecast Ultra. Okay, so it's time to go ahead and set up the Google Chromecast Ultra. So I'm gonna show my projector screen here and in the corner, I'm going to show myself doing this on an Android smartphone so you can see what actually goes into the setup process. So as you can see, when we go ahead and open up the Google Home app, like the Chromecast Ultra tells us to, the device is automatically found. It's a pretty simple process. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the setup icon. And it's just gonna tell us that the Chromecast Ultra is found and would we like to set it up? So we're gonna click yes. So this is going to connect to the Chromecast Ultra. Now the Google Chromecast Ultra also gave us a code on our screen and we're gonna just verify that that's what we're actually seeing. So we're gonna click yes. And then you can help Google improve the Chromecast Ultra. So I always click yes, I'm in. Then we can assign this device to a room. This is going to be in my living room. So we're going to click living room home and then hit next. 
Now you're going to have to connect the Google Chromecast Ultra to your Wi-Fi network, which I did in the previous step, I just didn't want to show the screen. But you can see that we're almost done here. We're just going to go ahead and click the next button. Now we can go ahead and add our video services. I don't really use much of anything except Netflix, so I already selected that and we're going to hit next. Now there was a screen before this that I skipped and it just showed my setup for my Google Chromecast Ultra. So now the Google Chromecast Ultra is ready to use. You can see this didn't take too long, not even a few minutes. And if you need help with the Google Chromecast Ultra, you can see that we do have a tutorial here. Now, I'm not going to go through the tutorial because this is pretty straightforward for me, but it is there if you do need it. So we're going to go ahead and show how to screencast from an Android smartphone to the Google Chromecast Ultra. And we're doing this on the Google Pixel 2 XL since we are recording my projector screen with the Google Pixel 3 XL. So we're going to go ahead and swipe down here and we're going to swipe down again and then we're going to swipe over here and then we can cast screen to the device so we're going to go with the living room home tv now as you can see the screen is now up on the projector but if you're going to go ahead and cast your screen to another display while playing a game that is going to be an issue as we're going to show here with mortal kombat so here we are with mortal kombat and as you can see, there is going to be some delay here. It's going to make the game really hard to play. So again, this isn't going to be ideal for casting a game from a device to a bigger screen using the Google Chromecast Ultra. So here we are on my Google Pixel book. This is a Chromebook and you can see that I'm working on a document. This is really a document for a script for this video where I just put all my notes, but I wanna cast this to a bigger screen to maybe share my project or make my project easier to work on because it'll be on a bigger screen. And that's where the Google Chromecast Ultra comes in really handy for working on projects on a computer. So we're gonna show how to cast the screen from my Chromebook to my projector using the Google Chromecast Ultra. So we're going to click on this bar in the bottom right hand corner that has the time, it has the battery meter, the Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to go ahead and click on the cast icon. And you'll see that we cast the screen to the living room home TV. That is the Google Chromecast Ultra. So we're going to click on that. And then we can go ahead and click on that screen and then share it. And as you can see, this is going to come up nice and big on the projector and it's just going to make our project easier to work on. Now when we create these videos I think it's important to always come up with different ideas to get around problems. So as we already have been noticing when we screencast our screen from our primary device to the Google Chromecast Ultra there is that delay. Now with a Chromebook like the Pixelbook we can actually use an HDMI adapter and an HDMI cable and we can plug from our Chromebook directly into our TV or to our projector and we can display our content and it'll be basically the same speed as you see it on your Chromebook. Okay so here we are at the Google Home Hub and we're going to show how to cast music from the Google Home Hub to the Google Chromecast Ultra to put it on the big screen here. So we're going to swipe down here and then you're going to see we have an icon for media. We're going to click on media. And you'll see living room home TV comes up. Again, that's the Google Chromecast Ultra. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we can hit play music. Okay, music from Google Play Music. Playing on living room home TV. Now the nice thing that we have going on here is that the fireplace actually shows up, which is a nice little feature to have on the screen. Okay, so there are going to be some cons with the Google Chromecast Ultra, or any Chromecast for that matter, and that is obviously when casting to the Google Chromecast Ultra, it's not going to be live. You're going to have delayed media being played to your screen through the Google Chromecast Ultra. And I also found sometimes that when I especially wasn't using an ethernet cable, that the connection from the device that I was using, that I was casting to the Google Chromecast Ultra would occasionally drop. But then we have the pros, and that is 
a lot of your devices, mainly an Android smartphone or an Android tablet or a Chromebook will make a great remote for casting media from those devices to the Google Chromecast Ultra. Now, I didn't really try this with my Google Home Mini, but I did try it with the Google Home Hub. And really the only thing I could find for now was that I could cast music from the Google Home Hub to the Google Chromecast Ultra. Now, I didn't really dig into casting video from the Google Home Hub to the Google Chromecast Ultra, but from what I was trying, it didn't seem possible, but let me know in the comments below if it is possible. Maybe I'll dig more into it. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video because I would love to be able to find videos or maybe make a voice command to the Google Home Hub to play Netflix on the Google Chromecast Ultra. The other thing that I like about the Google Chromecast Ultra is that it's a very clean, simple layout when you're using the device connected to a TV. You've got beautiful screen savers, and really it's a minimalist layout until you actually cast something to the Google Chromecast Ultra. And basically what you're seeing on your device is what you want to see on the big screen. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. Again, if you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below, and I'll do my best to go ahead and answer them. Now, you can support the channel in two different ways. You can head on over to my Amazon storefront, which I'll try to provide in the description below, or you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So that is pretty much it, and until next time, Leon, check in out.